Okay, what's up guys, I'm Dada here with another tutorial with Plan B Designs. Uh, this one is um, how to make an image basically look like that. Uh, yeah, uh, this will... you will need Photoshop CS4. Well, no, not necessarily CS4, any Photoshop. Uh, and a picture with one colour pretty much standing out more than the other. So anyway, um, this is what it looked like uh, before. If I delete that, um, this basically so yeah. If you just import the picture in Photoshop that you want, there you can with the layer selected go to the circle and go to hue and saturation. Uh, from there you can with the hue and saturation go to saturation and drag the saturation right down to the bottom so it's all black and white. And from there, with the film saturation selected, uh, untick the little eye, uh, eye icon next to the layer. So it should go return back to color. Uh, and from here, go back, select the layer 2, well, the picture anyway, and go to select and color range. Uh, what you want to do now is you've got the pointer, click on the color that you want to stand out. In my case, it's yellow, uh, whatever color really, so yellow. And as you can see, it hasn't. Uh, taking up the whole of it. The white represents the sections that will be in colour. So, uh, if you just press it once, it might work depending on what image you have, but there's a lot of reflections and darker spots and fader spots on fader? More faded spots anyway. Uh, so just hold shift down and keep going around the image so you should get more of a. This will just basically give you more more sense to me. So just keep going around it. There it is. Basically until you see what you want on there. You can also drag the fuzziness up to make it more lenient. Or uh, drag it kind of down a bit. Uh, about to like that. Okay. About 17. Um, you won't always be 17. It always depends on your image. Click OK. And you see there's the white black little lines around it. Uh, and then you want to go and reselect uh, review the layer with that and uh, with that selected you then want to go to a brush and with a brush you can choose a size I'm going to choose 102 because it fits alright uh, make, make sure your foreground colour is black which it is now and then just basically draw I mean if you're a retard these lines really do help you because you can't really go over the lines you know technology these days. Uh, there also, w when you're colorizing it, there might be some things on the left here and there, you don't really want them, because they're just like mishaps that shouldn't happen. So I want the sign, so I'll go over the sign, and these two yellow taxis in the background, uh, I want them to be in color. Now this isn't the best image to um, really demonstrate on, but you get the idea. Uh, to deselect, hit Control and D, and uh, there you go. Uh, all the images in black and white, uh, except for the yellow. Um, if you have a more stronger colour, i.e. red, uh, solid red, like a strawberry or something, it really helps, or anything like that. But anyway, yeah, that's the basic tutorial. Um, hope this helped you out a lot. Uh, sorry I've been making tutorials, as I said, um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you guys soon.